Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Blue Alliance winning 464 to 246. Incredible recovery by the Blue Alliance. This means we're going to a finals match three. Robo Sports Network, take it away. Blue evening up the finals here at Beach Blitz with an excellent win over a stellar Red Alliance. What did we see during that match? Well, I, I think the, the first thing everyone probably noticed is that 21-22 seemed to have some mechanical problems, uh, starting in Autonomous, where they weren't able to get any cubes in the scale, and then they weren't able to run their elevator properly and pick up any cubes afterwards. Right, 21-22 showing the issues just how little margin of error there is in telemetry. They drove just barely too far forward and found themselves pushing the scale up with their elevator, borking it for the rest of the match. Yeah, we are going to run this replay for you and talk you through it anyway. 2122 did make a very quick strategy adjustment. They did immediately, as soon as they realized they weren't going to be able to get cubes, started to play defense. And pretty effective defense. 21-22 taking up a position in the middle of their opponent's platform zone where the scale is almost entirely blocking the view of their robot, keeping the last two cubes on that switch fence away from Blue, doing just anything that they can do to keep Blue from uh, extending their lead on that scale. So you can already see that, that Red is doing a, a valiant effort here to, to stay on track, and uh, that is helped greatly by the defense played by 21-22, protecting these two easy access cubes away from Griffin Gear, and eventually their partner is able to find those and, and utilize those for the Red Alliance. Right, and this is one of those matches where you see it is a close scale battle. It is. It was throughout the match. Red was just barely behind blue, even one versus two. But a close scale battle can mean no points from the scale. Yeah, it's, it's really unfortunate to see, to see robot problems coming into play there. And then as we get to the end of the match, we have even more problems. Griffin Gear not able to hook on and lift their partner properly. And the Red Alliance not able to get any climbs either. Yeah, 3309 started to lift with their partners on them, and e not all the way up, even just partially moving up, it kind of stopped and moved back down. So, hopefully, something that they can recover for in the next match. They're going to need, they're going to have to assume that they need the double climb because Blue has the capability of doing it. They were very close to doing it last match, just a sequence of events where one thing gets the pressure on it. Griffin Gear was hooked on, they put their forks down, then they have pressure here and it barely lifts up slightly and then hop, hop, pow. Execution is really the key here. Either Alliance is, is capable of winning this third final match, it's really gonna come down to who is able 